and together Aaron the Black Dragons are back. So, in the last episode we jumped into the challenge stand and we died over and over repeatedly, but the good thing from that is, I uh, just wanted to check out if, oh there was actually a soul, but I don't want to go down there for one soul. Um, the important thing for me there was not to um, win this challenge, because I somewhat knew that I was not gonna win it. The important thing for me here was to get some knowledge on how to fight in this game. Getting some methods in to make myself a little bit stronger and showing me some things that I should use more often. Like the air dash that I don't really use a lot but are really good for crowd control in midair. So a lot of things that I learned here. Also evasion and how to use your abilities at the right moment. I got a lot of things taught through that fight. Pretty sure there's still more to this game that I need to learn, but it at least taught me some things that helped me pretty sure for a boss fight that we're gonna have here. I don't know if we're gonna have it today because we're gonna have to run all the way back and I cannot guarantee that we can make it back there. Eat all your shurikens there, you stupid ninja. Stand up and goodbye. Well, at least those fights I did rather well. Completely unscathed, two times in a row. Because I try to implement the things that I learned. I cannot guarantee that everything will always be perfect. And I cannot guarantee that we'll always fight perfect because sometimes it's even day and mood. Um, that indicate how you're playing. Also, can I buy stuff from you? I can. Do you have anything that I need? Well, I could buy some radish. Cooking ingredient. <sighs> you sell bear pelts for a big price. I'm a Saka. 100 lifeline? Sure, why not? Because my item shortcuts, I don't have uh, bear pellets anymore. I have a lot of healing pellets, however, and a good bit of that. So let's take the bamboo flasks since they only heal that much. The liquor heals 200. I don't need the herbal medicine. Healing pellets are 50. And the amasake is 100. Let's go for the healing pellets. The liquor is. In that situation, my um, if things get really dangerous, I need to use it. But otherwise, I have the bamboo flask and the healing pellets. Let's have the healing pellets as my main, however, for the moment. Seeing that they only heal 50. So, not the best thing to actually have for me with the 600 HP that I have already. But still better than using up uh, the strong healing items with the 200 HP regeneration. Especially now since we're in a kind of beginner area again. It's not that necessary. I mean, I think it mostly depends on how you um, are playing yourself. If you need a lot of healing or not. Because I think enemies might scale with you. Just a tad bit. I don't know. Well, regardless, it's... Hey, you are. You're a sassy shooter, buddy. Let's take you out. And whoop, 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 and down. Whoop, and... Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to attack your corpse there. Yep, yep, yep. And... Hey, jumping. Stay here. Well, I don't think I want to use my healing pellet because I'm getting closer and closer to a level up. Which means I think with the little amount of damage that I've taken there, I should be fine with just running around fighting the enemies and um, getting my health back at this place as well. Sure, why not? That even makes it better not to use your healing items just without reason. I mean, it's still only 50 HP that they heal, but they can be life-saving in a dangerous situation. 
Ooh. Also, let's go for all of those souls. Because, as I said last episode, we might want to uh, make ourselves a few more blades. Stronger blades at that as well. Still can't open that one, but totally frank. I had problems with the one that is uh, regarded for level 9, so... Even if I could open that, I don't think I would have any uh, chance of beating it, so... It's those things. I don't know if they actually hurt you in any way, shape or form or not. I just know that an easy way to take them out is this, but I don't know... It was beautiful and I love it. But, I don't know, I haven't seen them attacking us so far. They always just flew around us and that's it. And, oh, yep. So I don't know if those things are actually dangerous in any way, shape or form. I would suspect that they are, but, again, they haven't attacked us really that far. Flying birds. I take it that you will fly around. Whoa! Don't attack me with your fan. Well, actually, that's probably all you're here for. Attacking me with your fan. And goodbye. You look beautiful! Just wanna point it out, you look beautiful, but don't touch me with your fan. Which is also probably made out of your own feathers. Isn't that a little bit weird? I mean, who, who am I to judge that? Let's be totally frank. Who am I to judge what is weird and what's not weird? But... I mean, I don't know, is it weird if you're a bird person making a fan out of your own feathers or is that considered an artistic choice? Is it like recycling, like if you uh, let your hair grow long and then you cut them off uh, just, to, just to donate them, is that the same thing? Just that you don't donate feathers for, let's say, other bird people to wear, but for artisserie so that they can make like fan um uh, yeah hand fans out of them or uh different other things i don't know i don't know i don't know how important this question is to anyone's life i also don't know how important the question is to my life let's be totally frank here but it's a question nonetheless that just came to mind so i'm interested in it right now Sometimes you ask yourself strange questions that might not need answering. And if you don't do that, try it out every time. Try it out every now and then. It is fascinating what strange questions your brain might come up with. Because it needs something to... Worry it. Not even in a bad way of worrying, just something that's considered a deep question for your brain for the moment. Oh, thanks for the level up, by the way, and goodbye, little goblin. Things are going... Oh, you're still alive? Well, not anymore. Thanks for that. It was nice. Well, we are at level 16 now, which is, for me, really good. Oh, no, we're in this place. Also, we need to jump here because there might be some souls up there, which, frankly, I want to have... Because again, we want to potentially make blades. I hate those turtles. It's not a turtles, it's turtles. Because I think they are considered water creatures here. So... Whoop, whoop. There you go. There you go. Whoa. Don't spit your flames at me. That's really rude. And not nice of you at all. There you go. And how oh, you attacked me. I didn't even see where you come from. Did I get all of you? I did. I didn't know. I didn't see anyone attack me. I didn't see where this attack came from. So I take it as a great insult. I hate those turtle things. Because they're annoying. Especially in the water. Oh, I need. Oh, yeah. Okay. Are you? Bye. 
There you are. I need to take you out. And there you go. Whoop, whoop. There you are. Don't like the bombs because the bombs have a good chance of just taking out my blade. Because I wanna have the extra experience, buddy, I need to take you out. I'm sorry about that, but you have extra experience if I take you out and I get a battle score, like unscathed and stuff like that, so. Well, gives me a little bit more experience and therefore I wanna have it. I'm sorry if it's a detour for some people, but for me, it's important. The more I can get out of the travel that I'm gonna have to... I love this background! It's so gorgeous! This game looks so gorgeous! I wanna see a game in this kind of style again. And I'm seeing this like they don't make games and styles like this anymore. I just don't know of a game in this style. So if they if you know about another game that has this kind of style to it, let me know. I wanna check it out. I wanna see it because this style looks so gorgeous. It has something so beautiful. It has something simple yet complex and beautiful. It's just amazing. So if you know something about that, let me know because I wanna see it. Okay, in here we gonna have to fight a few of you guys. Take you out. And goodbye. Easy enough. Ow, douchebag. Ow, double douchebag. Ow, triple douchebag. You know what? I'm insulted by this. That was a lot more damage than I should have taken here to begin with. That was not okay. That was a lot of damage. And with a lot of damage I also mean... <laughs> if I heal all of that up now, then I will... Oh, there's an item up there that I apparently didn't collect. Tengu Mask. What does that do for us? Strength and vitality plus one improves physical skill. Well, that actually makes me weaker than the thing that I already have. Well, actually, it gives me vitality as well. But the uh, Fox Spirit only gives me strength. Huh. Getting both plus one or sticking with strength only? I think if I can just deal more damage overall. I don't need the one additional health that I could get. So I say I'm fine. So how far? It's not that far. If I find another saving point then I don't need to use my healing items which is the reason why I don't use them. I also know that before this boss fight there was a healing spot so I don't feel as endangered as I could be. If I die, however, then we have a problem, but I don't feel as endangered as I could be. Like in the fight with the monks, I felt really, really endangered. So I just need to reflect all of the flames here. That went surprisingly fast. I don't know how I should feel about that, but that went surprisingly fast. But it did not. I think that went surprisingly fast, which I'm okay with. I mean, ghosts shouldn't be allowed to attack me with their flames anyway, so I'm okay with that. I genuinely are. I are? I am. Well, whatever. Um, I also wouldn't mind a few more fights. I mean, we're getting close to level 17 here, so... Anyone? Hey, it's four of you. I do not mind that. Boom, take that. And taking you out. Here you are. 
slip, slip, slip. Don't. And welcome. Tap. Jab. There you go. Anyone else? Doesn't seem like it. Yep. Things are going really well in those fights now. Overall? Mm. But looking at my health, I wouldn't say overall it's looking good. But in general, I feel like I'm getting better and better at the game, so... Yeah. Still a long way to go. Oh, just a few of you gremlins. Let's go with that, because why not? I haven't used that in a while, so... So, let's just do that. Taking out... Whoops. Didn't grab any of you. I left you all down at the bottom there. Which isn't really what I was looking after. There you go. Thank you for your contribution to me getting to the next level. I'm so freaking close as well. Okay, that's just a straight shot. Hey, It's a long way. But... Oh. Oh, it's you. Oh, hi. I thought that there was a fourth, fourth shadow, but... You didn't come down here, so I didn't. Thank you for the level up, by the way. So now this fight is a little bit more evenly matched for me. There you go. And are you? Ow! Don't, don't you dare! And there you are. So, but I'm not too worried. I got only one slash. And the next save point is right over there, so. I'm about to get healed up anyway. Ah, the Samurais. The Samurais are a little bit of a different thing because you need to take out the blades. And I don't 100% get how that's a thing that I need to do. Ah, uh, yup. Because they say with blocking at the right time and countering, but that's what I mean with there's something to this game that I don't 100% get so because I'm getting closer and closer to that and let's have that and up there you go I don't want to use my uh, healing items again because we're getting close to a checkpoint but with the samurai there's something that I don't seem to grasp completely. I don't know why, but that is just due to the fact that there's something with blocking and countering that seems to elude me on a big level. So let's save everything. I'm fully healed. Let's take a quick look at the forge because we still have a few minutes left in this episode. Can I forge? I could forge you. Making an even stronger blade there. Making. Ooh, yes! The Kagetsu Muramasa. Can't do anything with that. I think with you, I am mostly decked out then on the blades I can currently forge. So, Tachiga Geza Muramasa. Yeah, because everything else requires one of those blades and I cannot create them. So I think... Looking at everything here... I think I have made every blade that I can currently make. Well, okay, let's go to my equipment. The weakest blade that I have is you, so... Can I somehow sort the blades by strength? That would make finding my blades incredibly easy. Well, the Kagetsu Muramasa is strong, so I take that as my first weapon. And what do you have? You have a 49. Do I have something that can beat that? Well, yeah, that blade. Yeah, 33. Do I have a quick blade that's 
a short plate that's better for me right now? No, okay. I think I have everything I really want to have at the moment. So let's just save quickly again, just so that I have that progress as well in the bag. And let's try it. Sure, let's try it. Powerful enemy that might potentially just take me down. Do I have to go? Oh yeah, it goes through the cutscene again. We already had that cutscene. We went through all of that already, so we don't need to go through it one more time. I think it reset just because we started the game new or because we left the area. I don't know. Let's proceed. Let's see if we can do it this time. A little more banter before the end of the fight here. At the beginning of the fight. So let's see what we can do here. Ooh, that's what Raiden does. It's just a bunch of electrical bolts. There we go. That was really good. You should probably switch out your blade there, buddy, because with that blade... Let's use Raiden again. Okay, I could not block that for some odd reason. Let's go with that, because my blade is running low on power. I also can heal myself up during this. So... Damn it, I didn't get to you. Let's earth horn at you. Damn it. I should be careful with when I use my ability, because at the moment I don't have... Yeah, I don't really get it when to counter an attack. I wish I would get it. So, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Now, let's use the Earth Hornet, dealing a good bit of damage. Let's switch out to this blade. I might be slower now, but I have Moonlight, which deals a good bit of damage. And Moonlight, because... That will probably take care of a blade a little bit. Oh, didn't get that. But you also have moonlight, so... I need to be careful. There we go, took out your blade. And I can use my healing items here to a good extent. Oh, god, there we go. Use that again. Driving you up into the sky. You can't see anything. Let's use it one more time. God damn it. Okay, you have a new blade, so therefore I can do that. With Raiden, I can take on your new blade a little bit better because that takes out a lot of your blade. Whew. I feel a lot more confident in this fight than I did the last time. Also with the amount of healing items that I have with me this time. And yeah, things that I learned through only doing uh, the 100 Monk. Let's use another Raiden to take out your blade a little bit quicker. And just to make this as good as possible. You have a new blade making me a little bit concerned about stuff. But not too much. There we go. Whoops. You were in the sky. Didn't mean to use that just then. Okay. Oh god. Let's use one liquor and go to the bamboo flasks. Just to have a little bit more health regen on hand. But I'm looking... Okay, whoops. You're on the wrong side of myself there. I need you to... There you go. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Let's... God damn you. You are... A little bit annoying. But I can take you on this time. Moonlight. 
Because Moon Knight is... Oh god. Let's do that. And Raiden... Wow, you take out all my blades there in one swoop. I did it! Even though it drove me into a corner right there at the end, I did it! <sighs> Izumaki Naganori acquired. Thank you for the amazing fight. With this demon blade you can just draw yellow barriers. So still not the white barriers, but the yellow ones. I wanna say thank you for this great fight. What talent he has. It's such a shame to kill him, but it's for my own protection. Please, wait! Oh, stop! Interfering again? Although you are a woman, I won't let you beg for his life. Although you're a woman? And who is it doing such things in a woman's body? If you won't listen, then I'll do this! You forced my soul out and taken back your body? That's some show of defiance. You aren't the weak little girl I thought, but this much attitude will be a problem later. Okay, for this time, and this time only, I'll spare his life, if you can do what you're told. You have not woken yet, you can you know, chill. Don't you worry. Now I am Momohime in both body and spirit. I have returned. Is this the netherworld or a dream? In either case, please forgive me. Our engagement was just a farce so that we could entrap and crush Narukami. Ordered by the Shogun, I made the plan which took your father's and sister's lives. Are you saying my family is gone? Please tell me that's a lie! Every night I have felt such terrible pangs and guilt. Please forgive me. Hmm, we're learning stuff here. Inari Myojin's medicine has saved him. No need to thank me. My master's or master ordered it. In return, please give him, please give him your body. Otherwise, you, you cannot survive for long. Birds! I will probably do so, otherwise the game will be over. Have a nice rendezvous. I'm not usually so merciful. So you'll return your body? Thank you for saving Yuki Noji. Nojo. But we cannot leave him in such a state. No need to worry. His ninja are watching us and will swoop down to help him. But that doesn't sound comforting at all. Is that okay? That's apparently a good thing. Father. Sister, how awful. You will keep her soul as is without sealing it? Won't she be a burden? Knowing the plight of her family, she'll keep quiet until we arrive in Narukami. The Takaido road is sealed by a huge barrier. Monks lying wait on the ne Nakasendu Road. More monks, eh? We'll take the Kosho Kaido Road and then detour through Hida.
Well, seems like we're gonna do that, but not in this episode. Let's save it. And I can say I did it. I know last episode we didn't do a lot, at least not for you, but for me we did a lot, because what we did last episode helped me defeating him a lot smoother in this episode than beforehand. So for me it helped a lot. This episode we finally got to defeat him and got some more story. In the next episode we will move forward and do more things. With level 18 I think and I feel that we're in a good position to go forward. So, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, how about leaving a comment down below? I really would appreciate that. And I hope to see all of you in my next video. So, bye!